for the people who might not know roche is really one of the largest pharmaceutical or rather of company in in the world with almost 60 billion in revenue and and 300 plus billion in market cap we are also headquartered in switzerland but but present in more than 150 countries with 200 plus legal entities so let me as i said again aspire is our our flagship program for implementing or creating a new digital backbone for our company with sap s4 hana being at the core of it so basically this is one enterprise enterprise wide program to to implement erp and and an associated systems um, it is one of the largest s4 hana deployment programs worldwide with this program we are trying to create one process house across rosh for the people who might know we do have multiple companies and then couple of divisions and and uh, our our businesses are range from diagnostics to rare diseases uh, drug discovery in this program we have 500 plus rosh internal colleagues working with more than 1500 or 2000 people supporting from uh, from from our our partner side we plan to deploy our solution or our the, the whole digital landscape to 200 plus legal entities as i said across 150 plus countries in terms of investments this is one of the highest investment done by roche in in technology so almost more than 2 on 2 billion dollars here yeah. and when it comes to how how it looks like at a high level from uh, architecture perspective so as you can see here uh, sap s4 hana is really at the heart of our, our new digital uh, supported with multiple sap and non sap systems so here what we are trying to do is we are really going for best and bridge solutions and and trying to create a end to end uh, value chain proposition for our business yeah. so here as you can see we are talking about uh, my buy kind of system or gp kind of system for digital procurement where our um, buyers can come online and and do everything seamlessly by their own using the self service in in gp on other side we are even talking about uh, bank clo a closing cockpit which is bit more helping our finance users in closing the month and year ends on time and and multiple sap products including sap btp for example for all the for keeping our digital core clean and and still providing the innovation needed by our business if you see on the left hand side we we are talking about multiple end to end value chain processes which are included and and multiple enabling processes also which are in scope what where we are right now so we are done with our moral is done with our uh, built and and we have even deployed that in multi, in in multiple pilot sites and and now we are we are at a uh, at at a point where we are looking at industrialized deployments here yeah? so we and, and again we are doing all this with the uh, uh, using scaled agile framework so quite in agile manner and as we are bring, uh, building this uh, digital backbone or digital landscape from scratch we had a lot of possibility to 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 pick and choose the best and breed solutions available and uh, what what we see right now on the screen is bit more uh, business applications but uh, we have even chosen a lot of uh, good solutions which which are it for it or back back end solutions and and stone branch is one of them we had done uh, uh, market research uh, using the key capabilities which are shown on the slide So we were really looking for a single platform to orchestrate our jobs. Again, I'm talking SAP world mostly. So for orchestrating all our jobs, we wanted some centralized, centralized real-time dashboarding because with Aspire we are also building a new operations framework completely, which is a bit more fit to fit to our current needs. Yeah? We wanted to really have some. real time alerts and and, and very quick reactions a uh, good uh, integration with other tools like service now 
for sure being a pharma pharmaceutical company uh, audit and uh, um, ability is something very key for us so we wanted to really focus on that also we wanted very solid change management process in place and at the same time uh, as as uh, uh, anyone can imagine we wanted to build the core but we want to support 150 plus countries business yeah so we wanted to really have a bit more industrialization in place and last but not the least following the trend we wanted to even see if if uh, it is possible to have a cloud based saas solution so as to reduce our installation and maintenance cost at the end so with this uh, high level requirements or our uh, it for it requirements we started with a poc or we started with the process of um, market analysis to find out the the prominent players and then uh, we found a branch in in the challengers uh, and and wanted to invite and that's where we we started this journey in 2021 as auto mentioned we so one one thing which we did uh, this time was we tried to even we tried to really high uh, we will highlight what are our requirements and then even do a poc with selected couple of selected uh, providers in in quite detail format and and then in only in october 2021 so like almost 7 after 8 to 10 months we decided to to start with stone branch we try to not just look at the technology point but even commercial ongoing operations those kind of aspects also and and that's where it did not took us quite long to to negotiate the commercials and and agree on uh, implementation so at this point we are using um, stone branch which went live in july so again within 6 months it was possible to go live as i mentioned before we are using a scaled agile framework so again we try to really um, deliver this with multiple pis and our our very first uh, mvp went live in in july 2022 Uh, with s4 hana as well as uh, sap ewm systems and uh, things stabilized very quickly uh, one more thing to mention here is we used uh, oto and his uh, especially for commercial and, and initial implementation contracts and what not uh, but at the same time we were using stone branch consulting uh, considering the product was new to our team our team wanted to be cross trained on that and uh, still we do have some consulting days so this is also one of the thing which i want to emphasize on potential customers of stone branch to really provision for some consulting from stone branch we are constantly enhancing the the, the product uh, some of the enhancements or some of the topics to mention here is uh, in in some other scenarios where people are or companies are giving uh, a kind of front end to use us to set up the jobs or to orchestrate the the work by themselves we wanted to have a solid governance in place so we we kept the tool it for it only and then, but but on other side we really created a kind of end to end process uh, and 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 a kind of a governance workflow so that uh, business as well as uh, it people can submit their request and then they get reviewed very well before they get into production environment here uh, what what we achieved is so for for us uh, one more important thing was security privacy and, and and those kind of topics considering we are going on 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 cloud so we we achieved sso ldap integration at the same time uh, it was it was a, a good collaboration to to in, in, enable the the firewall in a, and and vpn on our side and when it comes to features from uac one more thing which we found is the flexibility uac offers in terms of building your own logic and then workflows so two important aspects were we wanted a smart of failure notification notification and by by that what i mean is when a job is failing basically it it creates in real time it creates a service now incident but at the same time it is even stopping that process till the time the incident is closed and as soon as the incident is resolved automatically it it gives a trigger back to uac to start the the job again so a kind of fancy automation also we were able to achieve on other side we 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 did activated over a period of time we did activated multiple email notifications uh, 
uh, following different conditions yeah in some cases for long running jobs in some cases for job completion and topics like this and as i was mentioning especially from audit compliance perspective we had some reporting requirements which were not coming out of the box at that at that point in time but it was quite easy for us to again create some reports which are useful uh, for us for for our audit and compliance